morning. We are, we are actually hanging out on the seawall right now, right? Again, this is, uh, I, I was just talking to the uh, camera guy uh, and um, just explaining to you what this really is, right? Every country that, that we have traveled so far, Antigua, Jamaica, uh, uh, St. Lucia, every country that we did, um, Backyard Cafe to the World, the food travel show, there is somewhere to go for the people to go and hang out to say, hey, this is ours, right? In Ghana, the seawall is ours. Over on that side right there, you got the uh, uh, Burnham Monument. That is his um, park right there that you can actually get to go in there and see some stuff. I don't know if you can get to go in there now. I don't know if the gate is open, but the one Guyana sign, not to take away, we, we must let folks know, right? This is not to take away from the, the motto that we have, right? The one people, one nation, one destiny motto that we have, the one Guyana, it just means to bring all Guyanese together. You see? With just the two words put together. One Guyana, one people, you see? And there's a, the, the same slogan is gonna be for the Caribbean also. One Caribbean. And that's gonna be pushing, that idea is gonna be pushing more for 2024, you're gonna see that more of that for the One Caribbean thing. And I don't wanna to touch too much on that topic right there with the One Caribbean thing. I just got a little insight because of our travels and, and the folks that we're getting to sit and have meetings with, it has a great meaning behind it, you know what I mean? So for all the countries like Belize and Guyana, um, the Dominican Republic, all of these places that's been left out of the Caribbean, folks are gonna know that that is One Caribbean also. You see? So, one Guyana, bringing the people together. Real cohesion. That's what it's supposed to be. I think it's working, or I hope it's working, right? So, that's what it is. As a free, as a free man, these are the things that you really want to show off to folks and show them what our the legacy our ancestor left behind and what they did for us. They paved the way for us to do this, man. To walk free. You see? We couldn't, even in Guyana, we couldn't walk around. Our people couldn't walk around without papers off the plantation. Right? really giving you the, the uh, a tidbit of the history and the rundown here of our enslaved African brothers and sisters and forget that whole notion that they told you about that um, the um, what's the other big word they use, <laughs> they use when they were paying us the dust from the pennies the apprentice the apprenticeship um, thing when they were giving us shillings on the dollar you see and I forgot the word uh, uh, it's here but and this is why I don't like showing stuff off like this because it genuinely gets me angry right it boils my blood to see or know what they've been through and because I know I have fire in my blood right that in no man even even uh, the, the wheel, uh, the chariot on fire, the guards, ain't no man putting me through them thing, buddy. Kill me, brother. ASAP, kill me now. You understand? And for people like me, we wonder like, man, why we had to go through that? Just, you know what I mean? Unalive yourself or do whatever it takes. But they had to leave a legacy and that's what they did. I'm still proud of it, but I'm still angry, you know? So, setting up is Sunday afternoon, and in the evening, look at the wall there, right there, right? Them guys setting up the wall. Ronald, go ahead and, and, and give them on some light, right? They even got the porta potties um, set up outside there. The outside johns, right? Which was never done before on the seawall. Thanks for that, we need more garbage bins, and these guys are ready for happy time, happy Sunday, right?
something. So, what about us? So the, the reason why we soak it in, in, so in, get black. Yeah, in yeah, water, yeah. that way we get black is that um, sometimes when the customer come and you want them and the planting is killed the time to peel. To peel. And so many customers are waiting, waiting long, so yeah. the water is there. So and it's good. So that is good. Run out, oh, you show, no. you show the planting, then you show the water, it's soaking it. So is it salt water? You got vinegar in there? Yeah, uh, yeah yes. You put a little salt, you just put a little salt. Salt and salt vinegar will help yeah. it from oh. that plant. Uh, so that's, that's good. Now it's five something, like next. And then the rush come in. Yeah, next year also, so now is the rush. So what happened? We make preparation for the preparation for the rush. Right. Because so twenty customer, twenty customer come on here one day, right? Yeah, man, that's really good. Planting right. is a staple for the Guyanese. But well, this is the first stage. The first, this is the second. Right? This is the first, this is it. This is what really we see. Right? But if you want, we could just give, give them a little slight glance how we how we prepare, prepare this. Uh -huh. right? So this is the season. What, so that's the green season. This is the green season, right? So this is the green season, right? Right? Mm. And this is this is ginger. This nice. is ginger, right? And this is garlic. Garlic. Right? That's why your fish is so right? tasty. So this is garlic. Lots of garlic. Lots of garlic. Green season. Um, black this, pepper. this is another seasoning here. This is oh, a mixture of things. Ah, this is seasoning we put, right? Mm. And while you at it, how long you been out here doing it? Well, out here, 14, 14 years. 14 years now. 14 years now. Right. And it wasn't this all the time, it was something else. Yeah, uh, yeah well, when we come out of there, we was, yeah, was, uh, come out of there, it's only selling one tour. But we find that people asking to barbecue cook up. As, as you can see, this is a part of the cook up. You know? uh -huh. This is a part of the cook up, right? Uh -huh. Some people want barbecue, some people want barbecue with plantain, some people want barbecue with fries. Nice. You know? mm. And uh, we do fried chicken. This yeah, stuff is really tasty. And um, we do, we do calabresco. Oh. So the next time we're going uh, oh, yeah. to get everything set up. I'll put on the cook I'm glad we get it to shoot this for the YouTube yeah. channel yeah. and showcase this instead of Facebook so now the, the, it's going to be a wider variety so finally we got the time to come back and showcase you man and watch you in action do that, get the plant in set up feeding uh, a lot of hungry people coming out to the sea wall for the Sunday afternoon yeah. line yeah. but you were here from when to when? Uh, we, we open we open 7, 7 in the morning uh, we sell till next morning, still up to when we have customer. Oh, okay. Seven days a week, you are out. Seven, seven days. Seven days a week. Seven seven days a week. Days a week. And, um, and, open the seawall. And this is the pink yeah. stop, right? Yeah, yeah, pink stop with the bar. So this is the pink stop on the seawall. Fish and chips, barbecue, and chips. And the chips is fried planted. Yeah. So this is the fresh stuff, so I'm not going to use this fresh stuff right now. Because right, you just let that sit and marinate. So this is the one that was marinated. This is the one You're going to put it in a flower bath now. Are just flour only or you add anything to um, it? Yeah, flour well, what happens you, you got to treat, you treat the flour and put in some mixture inside you know, just black pepper, you could put uh -huh. spice, you could put any, uh, you could put anything in, anything in the flour because the flour no, you don't have, don't have any tea. Uh -huh. How long you fry for? It take like 15 minutes. 15 minutes? Yeah. 
So this a mother of fish and this is a uh, this is a course you know, I'm a poor poor sorb in the pool. A poor sorb in fish. Yeah. Some people want to some people want to sorb in a plant. Uh-huh. And uh we have time is so here people are like fasting. So they got time zone, some people can come and say, uh can I have a sorb in a plant? Oh so you cater for the vegetarians also. So this cook up here now, this cook up here now, no 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 meat inside. No meat, okay. This is a vegetable, right? Okay. And as you could look in the tank, this is the tank here. Uh, see the aisle, aisle now. The aisle stay and remain as clean aisle. Uh, people come and they request. They say, man, only of you, only of the aisle in mix up, you know. Yeah. People uh, want the like, fresh stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I'm a vegetarian mm -hmm. and I know you're frying with meat. I know you guys are dealing with meat. So just fry my. Okay, so you, have your own, you only have your own separate yeah, plant, plantains yeah, only? Yeah. So, okay. right, so this is the reason why you say, if you look at this plant, you'll see the aisle clean, right? Uh huh. So the fish eyes are still as fish eyes. Fish eyes are still as fish eyes. Pink stop, right? I just met up with one of our fans right here, and uh, this gentleman, we just put up the video with one repo, Sonny and Sweetie, and the seven curry and everything there. You so never know who you meet. Yeah, yeah, man. You never know who you meet. And this is what Gan is all about. Yeah. It's the whole cohesion, we talk about that. Yeah. This is what Gan is all about. I come out here for like peace, observe observant. Yeah. And this is my favorite spot in Big Stop. And yeah, food, man. when it comes to food, Mr. Delvin Adams, oh, he's man. very dear. And the guy, the guy, the guy, he's very dear. Dear and stuff, man. He's, he's very, very dear, cool. he's very dear. <laughs> I'm not kidding, I'm feet, but I know him. <laughs> he's very dear. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, man. Well, we're gonna come on your boat and we're we gonna cook in, 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 in your kitchen right it's here. Very, yeah, in yeah, I know. I know. Galley. Yeah, it's yeah, yeah, in small. the galley. It's tight. It's very, yeah, it's very But I still small. do something for you guys. Yeah. No right? problem. Uh, no. The militia, I can't. The militia, the, the USS that the government has acquired that is running north. Yes? So who's doing that? You? No. They're just in Malali. You, you doing Malali? Yeah, I'm the captain. Yeah. Right. But that vessel, we can accommodate you and your staff we come in the in their galley. Right. But it takes long to get there though. The Malali is still old, boy. $20. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Still, that was if it was built in Guyana ah, by oh. Cross Guns. Yeah. Oh. This is a lot of history. Yeah. It was built in Guyana. We had a lot of blacksmiths. Yes. All these people. And that's Chica. why, yeah. remember, I was telling you about yeah. coffee. Yeah. You're yeah. gonna see yeah. that what yeah. the artist put on coffee. Yeah. Or blacksmiths and everything. Yeah. He was telling you without telling you. Yeah. So he put the images yeah. there. We had yeah. that. We had a smelter that used to smelt coins and these sort of things. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Lombard. Uh, they, that used to smelt coins. And then bring it back yeah. with the, the plate. Yeah. The, the template or something. Yeah. And then they had this stamping machine that used to press all coins. Yes. Mm. Yeah. How old are you, man? How old you know all this thing? Still I'm, looking. I'm, look at me. I'm this just, man. I'm just 40. So. Oh, okay, okay. I'm 40. Yeah. Right, right. I got, I got, I got a couple of years up on you. Ah, uh, good, good, good deal. But the, but my, my entire family, they were into shipping. Or, oh, I come from a long line of captains, captains engineers, and this. But congratulations to you at 40 years old, a captain, yeah. captain for the Malali that's running from um, Arika to Rico, We can now have oh, wow. and these are super nice. Congratulations, yeah, yeah, yeah. man. Keep it up, right? So as a Guyanese, seeing a Guyanese traveling the world and doing this, right? How do you feel? It's very, it's very inspiring. I try to double in the kitchen. The best cooks, I need you to get this. The best cooks in the world are men. Ah. After that, don't let the woman tell you nothing about cooking. <laughs> nothing. I didn't say it. <laughs> I know. We have men. The best set of cooks in the world is men. Really appreciate that. Really appreciate that. Man. We work. We work. We work good together with all, all, everyone. Yeah. You know. Let's try a thing. Right? Let's try a thing. <laughs> I can't have your own. <laughs> okay. Yeah. All right, man. Thank you so much. Just, just fall 
falling off, man. Look at that. Right? We're trying it with the garlic sauce. Yeah. I like your style, man. You old school with the hands. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I have to. <laughs> I like that. I like that. Well, Thank you so it. much. Guys, Thank it's the pink are. stop. We're Thank on the sea walls. On the sea walls. Close the, close the camp streets behind Everest Ground. Close the camp streets behind Everest Ground. You can get us on 667 8253. We're open every day. Seven days, a, seven days a week. We open from 9 in the morning to 11 in the night. Finally, we're getting to do this here in Guyana, and I'm proud of it, man. I'm proud of you, and thank you very much. Thank you very much. We very much appreciate this, and this is something good. This is going to go a long way for us, so we appreciate it. Very much appreciate it. Thank All right. Thank you so much, man. Really appreciate it. Appreciate yeah, it. Man. So, thank you. you Delvin Adams, Backyard Cafe, on the sea walls, at the Pink Stop, and I'm about to delve into... Pardon the pun right there, right? I'm about to delve into some of this fish and chips right here. It's bangamiri, this garlic sauce, boy. It's garlic sauce with that pepper sauce. This is what you want. Finger looking good. Finger looking good. Delvin Adams, back at cafe. See you when I see you. Peace and love, guys.